when the narcissist gives you breadcrumbs. This is something that may often happen when you're trying to meet someone. When you're trying to develop a bond or build a relationship, but you end up with someone who is just giving you breadcrumbs. Someone who has no intention of taking things further, but they like the attention. So they may flirt with you. They may send you messages just to keep you interested. To lure you in without expending much effort. But they have no intention of building anything with you. Which is why it lacks a significant amount of interest which is why it lacks completeness because it's done with little effort or care they give you the minimum amount of attention because they don't really care about you it's just the occasional meeting, message or phone call Just to keep you interested. Just to keep your attention on them. Just to keep you hoping that maybe it will develop into something more. But they always act like they're busy. They say they're occupied with something else. There's always something else they have to do. It's like they're busier than celebrities or CEOs. Which should be your first warning of danger. Because no normal person is going to be that busy every day. But at some point, you will get bored or impatient with them. You may begin to put your attention somewhere else. And that is when they will start to improve. That is when they will start to put in more effort. To get your attention back on them again. But they're not really serious about you. They're just including you. Temporarily or as a substitute. Until they can find something else. They're just using you to occupy their time when they have nothing else to do. Or when they're not talking to a person they're really interested in. Which is why they're so unreliable. Which is why they can't make up their mind. They might say they're going to do something, but they never follow it up with action. Instead, they will cancel meetings at the last minute. They will say they're going to call you, but they never do. They might make up excuses. They might give a reason why they couldn't be there. Or they will say that they forgot about it. There's always something that comes up to prevent you from engaging. Because unknowingly to you, they are always involved with multiple people. There's always someone else they're talking to, which is why they're always forgetting about you. Because you're just an alternative plan of action for use if their original plan should fail. You're just there for when the person they're really interested in is busy. Because they can't deal with being alone. They need constant attention. They get bored very easily. So to cure their boredom, they fill up their spare time with other people. It makes them feel wanted. It makes them feel alive. 
when they have a lot of different options to choose from. They don't really value a relationship. They see it as a prison sentence. They see it as something that prevents their freedom. As something that's holding them back. Which is why they don't really want a serious relationship with anyone. But they want the benefits of a serious relationship. They want someone to take care of them. They want someone to take them out to eat and give them a place to stay. But they don't want to be loyal or committed to anyone. Because they already know they're not capable of being in a serious relationship. They know they're not reliable. They know they have issues. But they don't want to deal with it. Instead, they will fail to meet you when they said they would. They will lead you on. They will mislead you into believing that they are interested in you. They will make you think you're building a relationship with them. Well, they have no intention of building anything with you, which is why they will never take the subsequent move. They will never take the following action. They will never take the succeeding act. And there will never be a later phase. They will give you the minimal amount just to keep you interested. But they will never take it any further because they don't want to have a serious relationship with you. They don't want it to go any further. Unless you have something that is more beneficial to them than what the other people they're involved with have to offer. Then they may give you the impression that you are their number one. They may make you believe that you're in a committed relationship. But they will always have other people to call on if things go sour with you. They will always have other backup options. They have a serious habit and it's not going to stop just because they've met you because you're doing what they want you to do. That's not going to stop them from being involved with other people who they may anticipate and entertain as a future possibility. They're not going to stop doing that just because they've met you and they know this. They know they can't change that side of them. They may not be meeting these people that they're entertaining. But there's always the possibility that one day they will. Because they're leading you on. And making you believe they want to be with you. But then they're also doing the same thing to someone else. They may be having sex with you, but they're talking to someone else, as though they may have a future with them as well. They're entertaining multiple options, so they have multiple possibilities available to them, which is why they never put all of their effort into you. You never feel like they're really trying to build something with you. 
they're just giving you breadcrumbs. Because they're bored. Because they fear that you're going to leave. And they need your attention. They need to feel like you want them. They only care about their own needs. And when you realize what you're dealing with, you need to focus on your own needs and realize that no one is going to be that busy. No one is going to forget about you that easily. There's just no way that people who are really genuinely interested in someone could forget about them or decide that they're not going to meet them. If you really want something, you will make time for it. You can always make time for what you want if you want it enough. So if they're not making time for you, they must not want you as much as they say they do. They will give you their little stories and excuses. It will seem like there's always something that comes up. There's always something that goes wrong. But when two people are really interested in each other, things run smoothly. When someone is really that interested in you and they're wanting to build with you, their actions will be congruent to what they say to you. If they're not, then there's something they're not telling you. There's something you're not aware of. They're just playing a sick game with you. Because they only care about themselves, they need to have multiple options to keep themselves entertained. Because they don't really care about you, they don't really value you. So you need to stop valuing them. You need to stop making them so important in your life. Because they are insatiable. They cannot be satisfied with one thing. They need multiple things. They need multiple people. Because deep down they know they're never going to make anyone happy. They know they're never going to succeed in keeping something meaningful. They know they're never going to restrict themselves to you and only you. They know that at some point they're going to mess it up anyway. And they know they're never going to be enough for you. They know that you could do a lot better than them. Which is why they don't take it seriously. They always seem to lack excitement and enthusiasm. Because they're just sitting back and waiting for things to fall apart. Because they already know what they're like. They know that at some point they're going to fail you and the situation somewhere down the line. So why give everything they have? Why put all of their energy, effort and time into it? Why make it into something more than what it is? When they already know how they are and what they are. When they know it's never going to turn out to be something important. So they just give you breadcrumbs. They just use you for their own entertainment. They toy with you. It's like cat and mouse. And it's only because they don't want to be alone. They do it just to keep you interested in them. But once you realize what you're dealing with, you need to take a leaf out of their book and stop giving them all of your attention. Stop investing your time and energy into them. Stop making them so important. And make something else more important in your life. Focus on yourself. Talk to other people. Because they're never going to invest an adequate amount of time and energy into you. 
If you were so important to them, they would have done that by now. Which is why you need to look at their actions rather than their words and realize that they're preoccupied with other people. They're not intending to build anything with you. And then you can free yourself to move on and find someone who is about that for real. Someone who values you. Someone who wants to be with you. Someone who will not waste your time. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonates with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsfiver.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.